Hey everybody, <laughs> this is Nina, and you're listening to Tuesdays with Nina up here at Eden Fantasies. So, I am in uh, South Beach, Miami, and it's all natural light coming in from windows all around me, which uh, is great because who needs a scrim when you have uh, natural light from all directions? This week's question is from a gentleman who wants to know any tips for making love to significantly older women, and he didn't say how old he was, so I don't know how significantly older he's talking about. If he's a 20-something wanting to make love to a 40-something, that's one thing, but if he's a 40-something wanting to make love to a 50 or 60-something, that's another thing. A um, couple things to keep in mind. One is um, to understand why she wants to make love with you in the first place. Does she like you for yourself? Is she interested in the younger guy angle? Is she rediscovering her sexuality after a long marriage? Is she deciding, oh, what the heck, I've been a good girl my whole life, fuck it, I'm just going to go off and, and, and have sex with a hot young stud? Um, is she seeking validation? Is she, she can just share her experience with you? Uh, so is she in the, is she in the teacher um, or... Uh, advanced mode teaching you or is she in the receiving wonderful attention from a younger man for validation so what what is the energy um, if she is postmenopausal the main thing you need to keep aware of is uh, vaginal dryness uh, due to the thinning of the vaginal mucosa so not all women who are postmenopausal are on hormone replacement and some do have pain upon intercourse they just do uh, you can obviously make sure that you use lube if it goes into a regular love making thing she might I want to visit her gynecologist and see if um, vaginal creams containing estrogen might work for her. Uh, they work just locally and are low-dose estrogen, but they help thicken uh, the vaginal mucosa and make it uh, healthier and stronger. Um, because if you have vaginal thinning and dryness, you can increase a certain discomfort with intercourse or penetration of any kind, and it can lead her uh, vulnerable to um, infections because uh, the most the the, the best protection against infection, of course, is an intact skin, intact mucosa. And of course, um, the older we all get, the more aches and pains that we have. So make sure that you don't have a bad hip, a bad knee, a bad shoulder. You know, a lot of people have surgery and come from tennis elbow, that kind of thing. So um, depending on how old, significantly older is, she might not be able to do all positions uh, the way that you'd like, or she may need um, a little more time getting there. Or sometimes when they're older, quite frankly, they come a little quicker because they're so at ease with their with their sexuality and, uh, and are comfortable with it. Um, there is, I would imagine, being now an older woman myself, there can be some insecurity about appearances that, you know, their, their, their inner spirit is 25 years old, but their outer body may be 45, 55, 65 years old. And when the packaging doesn't match our inner sense of ourselves, it can be a little insecurity making, especially if we consider our partners to be significantly more attractive than we are, significantly younger, hotter, firmer, smoother, whatever uh, you want to call it. So, um, not to be obsequious about it, but be sure to offer her compliments, authentic compliments uh, on her appearance. Keep the lighting low. Um, and know that, again, depending on how much older she is than you, there might always be a little undercurrent of insecurity. So you must never, ever play to it. Um, if you have to get angry with her or, or speak, you know, in, a, in any kind of, you know, if you have to have an argument with this person, never, ever, ever ever, ever, never, never, but you wouldn't bring up her appearance or her age as part of the argument um, because that's just mean and you don't want to be mean. But sure, you know, there'll be, for example, I'm insecure enough now about my looks that except for very few places, I don't walk around in public in bikinis anymore. I don't walk around naked in, in broad daylight anymore unless I'm with my other queer friends who I know don't judge. Um, and women who are significantly older, of course, they grew up at a different time where a woman's appearance and being youthful was particularly important to uh, her value in the world. And so the loss of the surface appearance of youth or smoothness or hotness can really play, uh, be very difficult for uh, some women, especially women who are 50 plus, um, because when we were coming up, um, women's lib had barely started, and so the idea of women being worth more than just her looks had only just begun to get part of the culture. So the older she is, the more of that baggage she's going to be bringing with her to your relationship. And then, of course, um, <clears throat> honestly, 
be honest about why you want to make love with significantly older women. What is what it is about them? What is it about them that pulls you to them? Um, and be honest about it. Own it. Uh, I mean, not to tell her every single truth, but know in your heart why are you attracted to significantly older women. Um, ben Franklin, of course, has the very best list of all. It's 200 years old. It's still the best list of all of why um, older women are better. A couple that I can remember now, uh, they know how to keep their mouth shut. They're past childbearing age. They're more likely to be financially independent and not need you to be more than just their boy toy, their lover, their boyfriend. Um, he said all cats are gray in the dark, and that's pretty much true. Um, once the lights are dim, a body feels like a body. And not last, but absolutely not least, they are so grateful. Um, because, because, But they're grateful. But depending how long it's been since her last lover, she may also fall in love with you. She may fall in infatuation with you. She may become very more de more needful of you than you are of her. So really, before you start any sex situation with any older woman, significantly older woman, um, under always have a conversation about where are we going, what is this for, what is this in our lives, and is it leading to a permanent relationship, a, a hot six-month fling, a trip to Europe, what, so own it. So there you have it. Um, that's enough. That's certainly, pardon me, plenty. Um, talking to you from South East Miami, this is Tuesdays with Nina. I'm Nina Hartley, and please send to me your questions to TuesdaysWithNina at gmail.com, and Anna, next week, I'll get to your question about masturbating with your partner. Thank you so much, everybody, and you have a great week.